America is not a racist country. White culture, if you could even call it culture, is based in racism. It was a narrative created by colonizers, like my Portuguese ancestors, in order to justify what they were doing to other people on the continent of Africa and even here in North America. And the narrative was that we white people were better than all other races. And they did so through Christianity. They took the Bible and different scripture verses, twisted it around in order to fit the narrative of colonialism and white supremacy, and also the patriarchy. And the patriarchy is white man in power. White supremacy is white man in power. Colonialism is white man in power. And Christianity, for the most part nowadays, is white man in power. There are historical references and proof where the Catholic Church actually said to enslave an African was to save their soul. The kidnapped and enslaved Africans that were here in North America were preached different scripture verses than were actually in the Bible. And that's why they weren't allowed to read. Because if they could read, then they could see that these scripture verses were incorrect and they couldn't be controlled anymore by this white God. And white people, we didn't identify as white until colonialism. We identified as Portuguese or Latvian or German or Italian or French. But then colonialism came around and then all of a sudden we became white and we were superior because we were the chosen race by God and the scripture verses proved it. And we had to go into other people's lands and preach the gospel when really it was all a ruse. It was all an excuse to go in and rape and pillage the land and the people and the cultures. So when I say that white culture is based in racism, it's based in racism. Christianity was the Trojan horse of white supremacy and colonialism. And Western Christianity, as we know today, is still based within superiority. All Christians think that they're better than everybody else. I grew up in it. I'm very familiar with the culture. And it's part of the problem. There's a reason why most of Trump supporters are Christians. It's because they don't even realize that the conditioning of colonialism and Christianity and the patriarchy is so deeply embedded within them and their identity that they don't even see the truth. Christianity is based in superiority, in white superiority, in white culture, which is all based in racism. Okay, everybody, you heard what she said. You know, don't go overboard because some of our people tend to go overboard when confessions are made. We're in the time of revelation. That's what we're living through right now. So you're going to see more of these confessions as we get closer and closer to the end. This is almost over. And... Ladies and gentlemen, what she said about religion is absolutely correct. We never seen, nobody ever seen that white Jesus until these folks came over here. All right, prior to that, this world never saw that white Jesus. White Jesus is a very modern concept. It is nothing ancient on the earth just like their rulership on this planet is a very modern rulership. All right. So that being said, I just pray every single day more people will wake up and realize what they're into and just stop doing it. The chances of everybody, it won't happen. You're still going to have some people ignore this and go full steam ahead in religion. You are. Ladies and gentlemen, if their rapture doctrine was real, how come the, the Ukrainians aren't being raptured away 
why there's no uh, Christian Ukrainians over there. Those folks are running for their lives and getting killed every single day. I don't see no rapture going on. And, and that should be very apparent that their rapture is fake, not to mention it's not even in the Bible. And when you look at the grand scheme of things, it's just more white supremacy in religion. So the only ones getting raptured away are uh, white people. Everybody else got to sit here and stay. That, that whole concept shouldn't even sound right to anybody. But again, do you see Ukrainians who are also white people being raptured away? Okay, what, Christianity wasn't there? Of course it was. Of course it is. Even when you look at the aerial shots, you can see the churches in there. Of course it is. So, it, it, you know, what she said was good and it confirmed a lot of things we already knew. But she didn't go as far as saying who we are. And many of them do know. They're fully aware of who we are. But they're going to keep right on calling you everything but who you really are. Okay, their spirit is not going to allow them to tell you the truth as far as who we are. They can't do it. It's not within them to do it. And you may see those few that are cleaving on to the house of Israel, they will confess. But that's like a needle in a haystack. And, and that is the truth. You sure won't see nobody over in Ukraine making that confession. <laughs> okay, you, you won't. You know, right now, they are running around saying, why is God allowing this to happen? Why? Why is this? Uh, why? We went to church. This, this is not what our pastor told us in church. And you notice none of these churches over here are talking about the rapture doctrine when it comes down to those Ukrainian people. That says it all right there. That mess ain't real. You got a full-fledged war going on between two European nations. And you don't see anybody on either side getting raptured away. I'm just saying. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.